not, we'll bring in Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig. I mean, it is the first day of summer. Show your stripes today. Very important conversation to have 90 degrees. We're getting it quite often and we're going to not see the heat leave us anytime soon with little rain too. Yeah, Candace, you've got that uh, those warm stripes and you're showing those stripes there because of climate change and global warming. Let's pick up exactly where you left off. Good morning, everybody. These are the Pacific Equatorial waters. Now, what is that? Well, here's the equator and we're out over the Pacific Ocean. North America, we just off the map. There's Central America. Look at the warm water temperatures here and then follow the equator all the way over into Indonesia there where the water temperature are about 85, 86, 87 degrees. Why is that a big deal? Well, because we're seeing an El Nino develop. And what does that mean for us? It's going to drive another hot, dry summer. And we've already seen that thus far. We need rain. And there is some in the forecast, but it's nothing to get too excited about. So that's how all that ties in together. It's all from the Industrial Revolution and releasing of and the burning of all those fossil fuels that we believe as climatologists, as meteorologists, as folks that are watching all this stuff, the atmosphere is warming and we as humans are changing that. As we look at live Doppler radar, there is nothing on it. It's bone dry. We pull out to a wider perspective. Uh, we're in between systems. There's a low pressure system off to our south and east. Uh, and there's a cold front off over the northern plains. We'll see maybe some partly cloudy cumulus clouds develop through the afternoon. About a 10% chance of a pop-up shower with all the heating of the day and maybe some convergence here and there, but most of us won't see that. Uh, look at our temperatures already starting in the mid 60s along and south of the N84 corridor. We're 61 in Hastings. Charlotte is 61 degrees. We're 64 in Grand Rapids, 63 in Cedar Springs, 57 degrees, a little bit cooler up there in Macosta County there in Big Rapids. And as we look at our forecast for today, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. It's going to be hot and isolated showers possible. Look for highs back up around 90 degrees. We hit that yesterday in Grand Rapids, got to 93 yesterday in Muskegon. So even the lakeshore was in the 90 degree range. We'll have easterly winds today at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. If you look at future track and we roll this, we might see, you can see there's a couple of green blobs that pop up. Only about a 5 or 10% chance of seeing one of these showers that crop up. Most of us won't see it, but the chance is there. Chance of rain, not zero, but it's pretty low. Overnight, that goes away because we lose all the heat and the energy from the sun. Then tomorrow, things bubble up again with the heat. We may see one of those isolated showers, but for the most part, we will not. But the chance is there. And then as we go into Friday, that system down to our south and east tries to throw some clouds and the precipitation back here. I don't I don't think it's really going to make it. Our next best chance at seeing some shower activity is going to be with that cold front as it comes through here later on Sunday into Monday. So let's talk about today. Summer solstice, one of the longest days of the year. It's the part uh, or the point where the sun is as far north of the equator as it's going to get. That happens at 1058. And then it starts to go back down to the south again. So we start to lose a daylight. First, it's a few seconds. Then it'll become minutes as we get into the summertime. But temperatures are around 90 degrees today. Two events going on for your viewing pleasure. If you're interested, the Whitecaps have a game tonight. First pitch, 635. Temperature at 6 p.m., 88 degrees there. 83 at uh, 8 p.m. And uh, 77 degrees at 10 p.m. Then Meyer Gardens, Lyle Lovett and his large band is on deck there at 7 o'clock uh, tonight. 87 degrees by the time that concert starts. So we've got 87 on Thursday, 84 on Friday. We're about 90 on Saturday. A chance of some showers and thunderstorms later on Sunday into Monday. Temperatures will start to cool off. And if you put all that together with rainfall totals, here's what the European model gives us through Tuesday. Only about a quarter to maybe a third of an inch. Here's the uh, GFS American model. Only about a quarter to a third of an inch. Folks, it's not much, but as you know, I'll be the first one to raise my hand and say, we'll take whatever we can get. That's where we're going over the next several days. That's weather. Here's traffic at 650.